Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Khurai, host on Intellect Digest and what we have here is the ASUS PhonePet 7 2015 edition. The model number is FE171CG to be precise. This is the latest generation PhonePet 7 which comes with the latest generation Intel processor. It is powered by Intel Dual Core 1.2 GHz processor. In this video, I'm gonna give you my quick hands-on and my review of this tablet. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, how it performs, show you a quick gameplay demo, video playback, audio playback, performance, specification, features and everything that you need to know. I'm also gonna give you a camera test. Let's get started. Before I take you through the product, let me show you what all comes in the box along with the tablet and you get a wall charger and a USB data cable which I have just taken out of this box before making this video. So these are the two accessories that you get and there is nothing else, no earphones bundle or nothing uh, that comes with this tablet if you want to use some earphones you will have to buy them separately it supports standard 3.5 mm earphones what it gets on front is a 7 inch display which is not even uh, a high definition 720 bits 1024 by 600 pixels to be precise which is not the uh, best resolution that we have seen in this price segment it is priced at around 11,000 rupees in India which is slightly premium but for that price you get uh, a decent performance and build quality let me show you the build and design of the tablet first. So on the right hand side you have the buttons which includes a large volume rocker and a power wake up key. On the rear you get an 8 megapixel camera which comes without flash, ASUS branding and nothing else here. There is Intel branding. On the left hand side you have a micro SD card slot which has been provided here on the bottom with which you can expand the memory. It comes with 16 GB internal memory out of which around 11.3 GB is available to the user. On top you have a flap which is covered which houses two sim card slots it supports two micro sim cards so it's a dual sim tablet so you can also make calls use it for Wi-Fi as well as 3G so it comes with dual sim support on top you get charging port and 3.5 mm standard audio port and on the bottom you have the standard pinhole for microphone which picks up your audio for uh, voice calling as well as video calling etc it gets Zen UI which is the familiar user interface that you see on all Zen phones and other phone pad devices that come from ASUS which run Android and this one runs Android KitKat 4.4.4 and not the Lollipop. We assume that uh, ASUS will roll out some updates. Apart from that you also get a 2 megapixel front facing camera which is right here on top next to the earpiece. So it comes with two cameras, there is an 8 megapixel rear and a 2 megapixel front facing camera. The first test that I'm gonna show you here is the video playback test to give you an idea of how, how rich it is when it comes to video playback. It gets a 1024 by 600 pixel display but the color quality is nice, it is not uh, bad and it has got decent viewing angles if not the best in the segment. Let me play back a video, let me turn the volume to maximum so that you can assess how good the sound is and how good the video quality is here. Besides not having a very high resolution, it still does good when it comes to playing videos. So the display will not disappoint you if you are a regular user and want to browse websites or look at some videos on this uh, display. It will not uh, turn you down, it will give you a good display experience. Now let me play back some music for you just to give you an idea of how clear and how loud the music is. Interesting fact about this tablet is that it has only one front firing speaker which is same as the earpiece that you get here. It also doubles up at the, as the speaker phone and it gives you good and decent sound quality. It is not very loud but it does the job. This tablet is well sorted when it comes to the display as well as audio quality. Now let me test the cameras for you. It comes with an 8 megapixel rear facing camera which is good at uh, auto focusing I have tested it briefly before making this video and let me click a few shots again to give you an idea of how good it is and also I am taking a selfie with the front facing 2 megapixel camera so I will just show you these results that I have just clicked so 
So I have taken a picture with the front facing 2 megapixel camera and here is the picture and you can see that the de detailing is decent. It's not very wide and it is not very detailed but at the same time it is decent and this is a rear facing camera shot that I have taken of this box and this object right here in front of me and it comes out to be decent it comes out to be good nothing exceptional here nothing great but it does not disappoint us because it is capturing good details talking about the specifications and performance this tablet when we tested it on Anto 2 gave us a score of 18,129 minded that it has been priced at around 10 to 11,000 rupees which is not a very high price point it is powered by an Intel CPU which is a dual core CPU and it gives a decent performance for that price segment it is not uh, top performing by any standards but it is not that bad at, uh, as well it supports some very basic sensors like the acceleration sensor and I do not see any other sensor support here it runs Android uh, KitKat out of the box and gives you around 11.3 GB of free space gives you 2 GB of RAM that should be sufficient for playing moderate games also we tested it with Ninamark and it gave us a score of 60 frames per second which means that it is able to render frames very easily so we tested it with Subway Surf which is a very moderate to low level game. Just to give you an idea of how well it plays let me play back again for you. You can see the color quality is very rich here however the display resolution is not very high. The touch screen responsiveness is also good so we are able to control the game very well. There are no frame drops here because the resolution again as I said is not very high. So you are getting a decent response when it comes to gaming on moderate games or low end games like Subway Surf. It also gives you a conventional phone which is with a, small, a standard dialer so you can make calls with it. You can use it as a standard dual sim phone, it gives you dual sim support, it gives you a decent processor, a good build quality, nice color quality display comes with the some bundled software from ASUS and you can also use cloud storage services from ASUS. There are some pre-installed applications which are loaded onto this tablet. In all with a price tag of around 11,000 rupees, uh, ASUS PhonePad 7 latest generation 2015 model which is FE171CG is not a bad buy but it is not the best at the same time. If you are looking for something reliable, something uh, which is durable, is powered by an Intel processor, is not very high on specs for consuming multimedia and as a dual sim phone, this can be a good buy in around 11,000 rupees. It is available exclusively on Flipkart and I am leaving a direct link in the description section below so you can pick up one for yourself if you like. This is all we have on our review. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. And for more such videos, you can hit that red subscribe button below the video box. This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.